All right, what's going on, guys? This is gonna be our part four, pretty sure part four of our gameplay or gameplay through of Horizon Forbidden West. I am loving it so far. There are a couple things I do I do have issue with, like the whole knocking of the arrows. It's like a skill, it's like a skill thingy instead of it just being intrinsic when you unlock it. So I don't it like have like taking up some of the stamina bar or whatever. I don't really like that. Uh, but so far, I'm really liking it. So we're just gonna keep on trucking with the story. Oh, and like and subscribe. No, every YouTuber's gotta say that. All right, so go to the coordinates. Cover from the spire. Let me, let me go talk to him about the bristlebacks first. Since I'm like right here. And I'm just like, this thing always confuses me on how to get in here. You've returned from the west. Any luck? The bristlebacks were being penned by Tanakh rebels on the other side of the mountains. Alvin's explosives opened up a sinkhole, dropping them into the tunnels. Which they followed to the mine and out into the daunt. Right. Aside from the rebels, if anyone is to blame for the bristlebacks, it's Alvin. Radiant beams of the sun. And all this time he was pointing the finger at us. <clears throat> Bring Olvent here. Petra, too. Strong stuff. Summoned like a blast of ale, winch. You best be meaning to put pen to parch. What? Why is she here? I live here too, lug nut. <laughs> <laughs> so what's this about? <clears throat> Thanks to the savior, the sun <clears throat> has shown the truth on the bristleback incursion. Tanakh rebels were keeping pens of machines on the other side of the mountains. A sinkhole swallowed them, releasing them into the underground tunnels that led east and out into the daunt. So it was an accident. But let us not forget that it was the Karja. I'm not done. The sinkhole only formed due to your unauthorized blasting in the southern mine, Ulvant. You are responsible for the machine rampage, the workers we lost, the destruction the bristlebacks caused, all of it. My dear magistrate, has your precious son baked your senses? I would never give such an order without first consulting you. <laughs> uh, evidence says otherwise. Aloy found the shipping manifest in the mine. Oh. You skirted the laws of the Sundom Ulvent. All for a few extra shards. That stampede crushed nearly a dozen workers. A lot of good people My died. husband was trampled by a bristlebag. I, I demand an official investigation. I won't be the victim of some Karja scheme. Certainly. We'll conduct a thorough inquest into everything. Every business deal you ever put your name to. Well, that... That's not necessary, oh, is it? Oh, oh, no, well, it's not I necessary. We don't have to. to the claim. <laughs> oh, well, that would save the crown the cost. Of course. I'll be on my way as soon as I wrap up some previous commitments, tie up some loose ends. After all, the welfare of Chainscrape's people in a transition like nope, this... No, you're leaving right now. Chainscrape will be just fine. You think she can run this scorched out forged dump? Ha! Knock yourself out. 
Get out. Oh, don't want you. Boo. Don't need you. Down with all that. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Mud looks good on you, Walvind. <laughs> well, you got what you deserve. The sun burns away, Shadow. Mm. Thank you for that, Aloy. Oh, he had it coming. Here, please accept this token of gratitude. You've done the Sundom and my sanity a great service. And I believe we have some matters to discuss. Guess we do. Not the most pleasant boots to fill, but I'll wear them. All thanks to you, Flame Hair. Flame Hair. Okay, Nora Champion. <sighs> okay. Chain Scrape will be better off with Petra in charge. Wait, Nora Champion. What's that uh, outfit? Yeah. I wish I could like rotate her around so I could see the rest of the outfit. But no, I'll stick with this one. I, I like this one. And no, it's not because of the belly button. It's not. I just happen to like the, the color. Shut up. Okay. Oh, actually, you know what? I could just fast travel there. Oh, jeez, I gotta go far. Good God. Alright, I'm gonna take a... I'll probably just ride most of the way there. I'm sure I'll run into some interesting stuff on the way. Out of the way. I guess Aaron and uh, Varl aren't here. I was hoping they would. I was hoping they'd actually be here.
sight again. do that like jump thing or you like swing you like do a couple swings and then you jump jump off of them oh, I, I had gotten it Aerial slash jump off. So. so. How do you do it? Aerial slash off. R1 and hold R2. I'm guessing. I'm assuming that's how you do it. Okay, yeah. Am I gonna have to like get another another mount? Well, that sucks. Guess I'm gonna hoof it. It's going to be hard to... Need to throw a rock. There we go. Now we can go in style. Make 
to me. He's making me jump like facing the other way. That's weird. I'm not giving up. An old world ruin. Wonder what's inside. Thank you. If it isn't the hero of the day, sure I'm glad you came by when you did. Are you all Delvers? We've been working No Man's Land for a while. I was hoping to get back to Baron Light by the time they opened the gates, you know, after that embassy of theirs. Seeing as how we almost got minced to pieces just now, I'm guessing things didn't go so well. You could say that. It's not like No Man's Land was safe to begin with. But I didn't think I'd have to worry about the Sanak the neutral territory. And now, they're riding machines! <laughs> if you were headed back to Baron Light... We can all thank Silence here. for that. We ran across some ruins nearby. Thought we'd take a gander, find some good salvage. But the place is full of weird red crystals. Can't get through this stuff. Red crystals. So we ended up making camp here. Oh, the First Blight? Tomorrow, though, we have straight to Baron Light. Should probably send a message to our crew down at Jagged Deep about all this too. What is that sound? The Jagged Deep? It's a dig site by this big lake down south. Old world scrap everywhere. Can't miss it. And that's my cue. Here. Thanks for helping us out. Maybe I'll get into more trouble and see you around. Well, what's up, Dad? Oh, okay, spoke down. Looks like this door is locked. Maybe there's another way in. get back on the trail. There's so many corruptors everywhere. Although we are headed to the west, which would be, well, to America, which is where the Pharaoh okay, Industries was, I believe. So I guess it would make sense there'd be more of them out here. save it and then do a like a restart or something because I think it might be glitching oh no it went away so it's something over there trade for something good
need to stock up on uh, healing berries. Such Larian's contract mentioned. I should make sure I have my facts straight. Give the contract a quick read. use this passage regularly, and Laren wants their plating. I just need to wait them out at his camp. Might be a good idea to place some traps on the road first. Catch the convoy by surprise. I should rest up. Wait for the convoy. This should help. I should get a trip caster thingy. so I can only place so many? Oh, that's stupid. That's really dumb. I just wasted a whole bunch of... Just wasted a whole bunch of uh, trap material. The convoy. It's here. Where are they coming from? Lauren's contract said they'd set up traps along the passage. Might as well use them. Here they come. I'll take advantage of that.
Salvage what I can and leave the plating for Laren's crew. That's plenty of salvage for me. Huntress, you're back. Yep, and I got your thing I to take care for you. for you. Vonda, Rendor, we got a pickup for our contract. Here's your payment. This will definitely help me make some great armor. But. <laughs> Well, I realized an armor made out of shell walker plating's good, but with just a few minor additions, it could be so much better. <laughs> if you'd be willing to take on a few more contracts. What do you say? That's... Always good to think before you buy. It's good to see. Sure. Tell me more about these contracts of yours. I was thinking, scrapper jaws are powerful. I could use them to strengthen my armor. Crew spotted a pack of them not far from here, primed for salvage. I guess I can give the contract a look. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, what else do you need for your armor? Alarm antennas. Strong, supple. I could use them to make my armor more flexible. We picked out a herd of scroungers already. I'll uh, read through the contract, see what I can do. Best of luck. I should get going. I'll be waiting for that salvage. This is I want to read through these contracts when I get the chance. See what I'm getting into. I heard one of the other crews went further west to hunt down the roller back. That one. Okay. Let's get back on the trail. I want to take down one. I want to see if I can take down one of those. That's the fun of this game, is like, as you play more and more, you learn how to uh, kill the machines and it gets easier. When you first start learning, it's like, they just kick your ass. Making good use of this.
I just saw some. Oh yeah, that's what. Oh, a Karja camp. Yeah, I'm afraid if I stick to shark ammo. of your focus.
It's actually really hard. Pod. Is this from the... Is that from the Leap Lashers? Hang on, my focus. I thought it was one of the scrappers, but I don't see any scrappers. A rush of air. Looks like the coordinates Silence gave me matched that wreckage. Did he install Hades on another Titan? Send this to my stash.
place to be. This reminds me of uh, Assassin's Creed 4. When you would have to die for the treasure. This is it. The location of the coordinates I scanned from the spire. A workshop underneath a dead Horus Titan. Just the kind of place Silence would slink away to. But what was he doing here? Some kind of red... Crystal. Oh, what Silas is doing over here? It's some kind of log. Most of it's redacted. It looks like Silas put a lot of work into forcing Hades to talk. Processing orb of a Titan, on the other hand. Well, you're used to that. But once I load you on that, you'll be so much more comfortable. Until interrogations begin, anyway. Hmm. Maybe 
through here. No, that was where I needed to be. I can climb anything. And there's the this. Device is blinking. I guess Silence wants me to check it out. Okay. Aloy, consider this message a beacon to help guide you out of the fog of ignorance. Using explosives, I've detached the processing orb from the Titan overhead, a perfect cage for our mutual friend, Hades. In order to render it cooperative, tell her what we discussed about the mysterious signal that gave you life. Yeah, it does. <laughs> he actually kind of does. Way to find out where he moved the orb. So he still always have things figured out. Guess I'm going this way. Here I am, following along after silence like a fool. After he tricked me by rigging his lance to steal Hades. A crazy AI that wants to kill everything. He couldn't just let me do the same thing and destroy it? And now I'm gonna have to put up with more of a self-righteous bull. Do 
machine strong against frost ammo. Water sack is explosive. So if I can hit that. Why don't you take this damn thing? Silence must be pretty confident he's found a backup of Gaia, but... How? Every place I've checked, every lead, they've all been dead ends. All backups purged. Unless he so was the one that Hades purged him. What if he's the reason why you couldn't find him? That'll blow if I hit it with a fire arrow. Sonora doing this far west. Ah, no matter, no matter. I can get you stocked up for the wild if you need. That's not your Perfect.
fun with that. Mm, pouch is full, but my pack has room. So the acid caster has a chain reaction. Can't wait till I get the terror out of this. I can actually like start harvesting stuff. Looks like the trail goes into the hillside. Did he like physically drag this thing all the way up here? use that machine to haul his prize. That must be the orb silence stuck Hades in. And that door. Looks like a pharaoh facility. Or a zero dawn? Come on, Hades. You still in there? I just die. Oh, not dead. I'm like a dream or something. I'm even getting to talk to Hades. What did silence do to you, Hades? It's like you've been hollowed out. Silence interrogated me. And what did you tell him? memory structures disintegrate. You don't remember any of it? I remember you. What, like? Me beating you at the spire. Okay, that's not going anywhere. When the mysterious signal transformed you, it made Gaia's other subordinate functions conscious too. You escaped when Gaia destroyed herself, but so did they. Where did they go? Each function. who knows where doing who knows what Hephaestus kills thousands every year with the combat machines it keeps making 
And you nearly ended the world. Seven more functions out there, cooking up trouble? It's not a happy thought. You are unhappy. Good. Anyone ever tell you you've got a great personality, Hades? Sarcasm detected. Yeah, didn't think so. Silence asked you where to find a backup of Gaia. Data error. Memory structures disintegrated. Fine. Right. Because that would have been easy. Right. Do you know where Silence went? Anything more than I do. Great. Do you know why Silence dragged you to these ruins? Silence, then, then you find me here. Obviously. But why? What was this place? Location is square. Anything? Deathbed. He called it my grave. But you. I guess I'll find out when I go inside. Silence questioned you about the mysterious signal. The one that woke you, gave you consciousness. Who sent it? Signal. Who are they? Masters mock me to destroy earthly life. Who would want that? <laughs> Data error. Memory structures disintegrated. Oh, God. <laughs> Hades. Twice you tried to destroy life on Earth, and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. And there's no tricked out lands to save you this time. You are incorrect. Three times. Hades extinguished. What? You remember this? Yes. Data intact. Non viable biospheres aborted. Five, four, two, six, one, two, one, six, eight. So? That, that's centuries ago. It's what you were designed to do. Haley, Hades? Hmm. I don't know. If there's a guy in backup, I'm sure there's a Hades one. I see you dealt with Hades. Yeah. Think maybe you can stay dead this time? 
It will. You can trust. Trust? Me. Yes. Trust. As in, since I did what you could never do, and extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge, you can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. So back to holograms instead of face to face? What, afraid I'd stab you or something? There's a reason I'm I... I'm using the same spyware, I see. So, all those times I called, you could have just answered. But I guess you just prefer to go on spying all this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I've had work to do. Countless hours of research. As demanding and time-intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. <laughs> right. Of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you, I've produced two results. Did you this find my guy right guy here. Or not? Oh, yes. I believe I did. Where? Voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? Behind that gene-locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades extinction protocol was perfected. A testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. Hades told you this? It took some convincing, but yes. And you're so, just going to hand this over to me? Are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to stand there with your mouth open? You're going to just hand this over just to, to me. Confirm. Hades said that there are backups of Gaia in there. Yes. Or were, anyway. A thousand years ago. Backups that didn't get purged when Ted Farrow wiped every copy of Apollo. Correct. According to Hades, this facility could not be accessed by remote signal. Not even Ted Farrow could touch the data here. Backups. Data complete. Gaia and her subordinate functions. Everything needed to reboot the system, restore control over the terraforming system, save life on Earth. In there. So Hades said. So what are you waiting for? Did Hades reveal the source of the mysterious signal? The one that woke it, tried to destroy life on Earth? Yes, it did. Care to share? In due time. First things first, Aloy. Last I checked, you still had a super intelligent AI named Gaia to reboot. Yeah. I'm gonna be sad when Same Silence Gaia dies. To destroy herself 20 I swear years he's ago gonna die in here. I'm gonna Stop be sad. Transmitted years ago. It's no longer a threat. What if it repeats? It won't. Even if it did, well... <sighs> the details are complicated, but the signal required Hades to take effect. Delete Hades from any backup you reboot, and Gaia's safe. Now stop wasting time. Go get a backup. You mentioned you've been busy. Exceptionally busy. But not so busy you couldn't teach Tanakh the rebels to override machines, ride them as mounts. Aloy, the only issue you should be concerned about is obtaining a Gaia backup. Perhaps if you focused more, you might actually see results. That's not exactly a denial, Silence. Take it any way you want. <laughs> I love him. All right. He I'll is a search treasure. the facility for a Gaia backup. But just to be clear, Silence, if this ends up being another one of your tricks... It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. How could I set a trap inside? Trick me Grab a again, hair. Silence, and our next conversation will be face-to-face. -face. Though you won't have much to say on account of my spear being buried in your throat. Aloy, thanks to me, everything you've desired, everything you've been fumbling about, unable to achieve for six months, is now within your grasp. Now, I know you didn't learn much about manners growing up a Nora outcast, but in a situation like this, you say thank you, and I say you're welcome. God. <laughs> but what is it that he wants? Aside from just knowledge. Hold for identity. 
Messed up. Obviously. But despite the malfunction, you can still get through. If you'll be patient for a while longer. See those crystals there? The Osram call them Fire Gleam. They're combustible. Not nearly powerful enough to blast through a door like that. But maybe just enough to jolt it open a bit more. Exactly. It will only work with an igniter. I'm sending you the schematics now. To build it, you'll need some machine parts and the oil from a kindleweed plant. That only grows underwater, but you should be able to find some in the nearby lake. The parts are more complicated. You'll need a spark coil from within a Leap Lashes power cell. Remove the power cell before you kill the machine, or else it'll break. Got it. Well, I already have some deep water kindleweed. Just need to get the parts. It's a good thing I was picking stuff up. Those machines should have the parts I need for the igniter. I should scan one of them. My focus can show me where the part is. Okay, now where's its power cell? There's the power cell. I can tag it in my focus display. That'll help. Oh, I didn't. Oh, that's awesome. Before the machine goes down. That's awesome that you can tag specific parts now. You better just snipe it off. The best way to do this. Got the parts for the igniter. Now I just need to build this thing. There's a workbench near the entrance to the facility. From your time tinkering with Hades? Tinkering? More like extracting invaluable data. Should be able to use this to blow up that fire gleam now. Indeed. A useful combination. It's how I detached the processing orb from the horse in the first place. Great. I'm in. Then by all means, proceed. But I could use this igniter if I find more places with fire gleam. Focus on the task at hand, Eloy.
place is flooded. And there's another gene lock door on the other side. And that's where any Gaia backups would have been stored. I have to find a way to get over there. Ancient crumbling ruins while you spy on me through my focus. Stop waxing nostalgic and concentrate on finding a backup. I'll dry off eventually. Hmm. My pullcaster might come in handy here. Might be a good idea to drop that ladder. <sighs> Door's locked. But there's some kind of device next to it. <laughs> it looks like this connects to the door, but it needs power. did it. Hang in here. But if I pull the power cell out of the door... Oh, okay. That stays open. Good to know. What's above me? Right. 
hook onto that. Stuck. Can't pull it from here. What was this room for? Looks like there is another console that needs power. Same device from the other room. This console shut down. I'd look around with my focus. here. Elizabeth. Stay. And Travis Tate. just done gonna make you love me i just imagine them far zenith rag scallions opening this fake guy we made for him and i thought what this really needs is a signature this isn't a prank travis i know i know 
All I did was just script a couple of avatars. A little you, a little me. To deliver our message of doom. Real personal-like. Would you just send it? As soon as it's done compiling, then you and me should celebrate. I brought party fixings, pizza rolls, absinthe, a couple of hacky sacks. I'm heading back to Bryce as soon as this is done. Color me confounded, Liz. How is it that someone like you, Paragon, damn near saint, you love this world so damn much, but no one in it. I mean, have you ever even had a friend? Compile complete. Data file, Baron Promise, ready for transmission. If you would, please. Logic bombs off. Here it comes, far as Z-nuts. Just keeping the best of what you do, Travis. Always admire you from afar, Liz. It's where my mom was grave. And she was religious. Travis was wrong. Elizabeth was trying to make sure life had a future. She cared about everyone. I'm not so sure. The exceptional walk a path of solitude, Eloy. As you and I are well aware of. There's another panel up there that I should be able to pull open. I'll have to climb higher to reach it. I can latch onto that from here. I'm gonna have to jump. I can't make that jump. But if I glide... more of the facility over there. I better take a look.
to the door from here. To be able to glide over. What's in here? door. What's that console next to it? Balls, dude. How loud is it out there? Outside the noise dampening field? 150. I'll stash this away for later. There's data here. From Travis Tate. This place turned up. Looks like this is connected to the door. Who needs a code to open? Seven or eight. <sighs> no, that's not it. Deal's off, Tilda. Zero Dawn got its ectogenic chambers. Far Zenith needs the Apollo database. There's no reason this incident... You tried to steal Gaia. I had nothing to do with it. And you punished those responsible. Your logic bomb has them scrambling to restore vital systems. I'm really supposed to believe that you knew nothing about this? Please, please. Humanity's chances are slim as is. You may not approve of our plan. What if we're the only ones to survive? Don't you want us to have Apollo to remember our common past, our mistakes? I'm begging you. You'll get your copy of Apollo. Thank you. Let's speak again before- Goodbye, Tilda. Time to let go. Elizabeth sounded sad at the end. I think this was personal. Indeed.
Forecaster won't work on that. What's that? Do I want to go all the way back? I'll shake it out as I go. Like now I'm getting mad. This is actually really starting to piss me off now. What is going on? Like, why am I able to bring myself towards stuff?
press the X button once. Maybe it's because I'm pressing it twice. Because I'm always double pressing it. some reason it just keeps failing okay Except for that console. It's damp in here, too. I hope the water hasn't corroded anything I need. Let them back up. Start looking. This looks like a boss. Genetic profile confirmed. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Do you wish to activate Recluse Spider? I do. Activating. Okay. Bring it up. That doesn't sound good. It appears to be unstable. At least I've got power. And there's data here. Looks like this recluse spider thing is a testing apparatus for Gaia and Hades. I better take a look at that excess panel. Yes, get to it. Okay. I think those circular pods are repositories. One loaded with Hades backups. The other with Gaia. What are you waiting for? Hades is down, but the Gaia repository is stuck. So unstick it. I need to detach the cable from the arm's coupling. down. I should be able to access that pod. without some functions but there yeah, are except some to functions find all the other ones. out there the original ones scattered to the winds when guy blew herself up they could be anywhere you can't find them in time even if you did the mysterious signal mutated them just like Hades you have no idea what I do a good one but it works A 
Oh, there's one. There's some maneuver, but it won't connect. It's close. Mountains west of Plains on. Close enough for me to go get it. I was hoping to find all the subfunctions, but one's enough to get started, right? It is. Recover maneuver. One could use it to launch Gaia's heuristic matrix. And when she's conscious, she helps me find the other subfunctions. I go gather them. And rebuild her piece by piece. Very clever. Still think I can't save the world on my own? Ah, uh, yes, well. About that. Alert! Intruders! Alert! Aloy, I need you to listen closely. These intruders want the same thing you do. Gaia reborn. It's why they're here. Friends of yours? No. They don't know me. The data pulse I transmitted indicated that a Gaia backup could be recovered here was anonymous. Now, they're very powerful, but they won't harm you. Not when they see who you are, what you are. A clone of Elizabeth Sobek, a genetic key with which they can reboot Gaia and rebuild the system. They need you. I warned you, Silence. For once, Eloy, submit to the inevitable. Open the hatch. First, I rebuild Gaia, save life on Earth, then I track you down and end yours! I'm trying to help you here. <clears throat> Try spying on me with that. There. New focus, spyware free. Okay. Think. Think, think, think. I don't care how powerful they are, the only thing that can open that hatch is me. Can I find another way out? There's a current in the water. Not much, but maybe it's a way out. Genetic profile confirmed. Entering authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobak. Please step inside. <laughs> originate here. Has someone... Something wrong? Shit! Spectres, Beta! Well, any idea what the hell a clone of Elizabeth Sobek is doing here? Maybe Gaia made one when it destroyed itself a Hail Mary to repair the system. Hmm. <laughs> don't like the sound of that. Nah, don't like it. Don't want it. But the if it Nope. One's enough trouble. Eric! Yeah? Care to do a little downsizing? Hmm. Sure. What if she sent the pulse? Then that was foolish of her. But we got what we came for. So let's put it to use. I snap a lot of necks in VR. But that certain tremor, as life fades from the eyes. Ooh! No hollow quite gets it. Keep flapping your mouth. It makes a nice target. 
You actually think that primitive crap you got there can hurt me? This is gonna be fun. console to make it rot more. He's too close. I won't make it. This kill's all mine. Is that supposed to be a weapon? Close personal. I'm not hurting him. Gonna help, girl. Come on, come at me. Gotta come yeah. at me. Have all the fun. 
What was that? Me killing what you wanted dead. What the hell did you think? The platform collapsed. Body went with it. Right. And since when don't you get what you want, huh? Spectres, search. Might be a way under this. to get out of here. going somewhere.
looks like some kind of power room. A current's lead here. Promising. At least we got out. Frost. Frost. I, I found. Shh. It's okay. I'm here. I've, I've got it. Easy there. Hey, 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 hey. It's right here. And the way you were clutching it when I found you, I knew it was important. Where are we? An outpost of the Utaru tribe. Not far from where you fell. How long? Two days. There's no time. I found something. In the mountains west, west of Plain Plains. Song. Yeah. Kept muttering it while I carried you. Look, Aloy, whatever it is that you found, you're in no shape. To... I will crawl if I have to. Okay, fine. But before you do that, there's someone you should talk to. An Utaru named Zo. And she told me there's been trouble in those mountains. A cave spitting out deadly machines. Can't be a coincidence, right? Well, why do we need her? Let's head for the cave. It's in Utaru territory. Her territory. She can help us. You'll see. Fine. Let's go see this marvelous so then. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow, still the sea uh, rises as certain as stone. So? She should be in bed. Aloy doesn't really do should. You're so right. Varl said I should talk to you about the machines in the mountains west of Plainsong. I am a grave singer. My place is here. We can talk once you've healed. What's wrong with it? Her. The name is Ray, not it. She's one of our land gods, and she's dying. 
but not just dying. She's suffering. Her condition is not your concern. So, if anyone can help, it's Aloy. May I? to do might look bad, but it will help. Spear. Fine, I can, I can still walk. The mountains, west of Plainsong. There's trouble out there. The Utaru have trouble everywhere. Our fields blighted, our settlements abandoned. But the cave in the mountains is the worst of it. It is a sacred place. Fa, another of our land gods, went inside weeks ago, but she hasn't emerged. Killer machines pour out instead. Threatening to overwhelm us. It's never happened before. Wouldn't be your first sacred cave. Yeah, it's probably a cauldron. You called yourself a grave singer. What does that mean? To all living things, an end must come. It is my task to ease the passage. I try to bring comfort and sing of the renewal that death sows the way for. But I never thought I would have to sing for one of our land gods. I don't even know if Ray hurt me. What you did soothed her more than I ever could. It's not your fault, Saw. And without the second sight, there's nothing more you could have done. So the cave is sacred because machines like Ray and the one you call Fa go inside? Yes. Before the derangement, each land Close everybody's name, left the fields just a two and made a pilgrimage to the cave. Thing. Always in the same order. Do first, then Ray, then oh, do me, Ray, and me. so on. Spattered with soil from their labors, each reappeared two days later, shining anew without so much as a scratch. All soil and ornaments of worship washed away. The tribe celebrated each return as one of the eight hallowed festivals of our calendar. But the derangement changed the cycle. Yes, or so we thought. Over time, the land gods stopped the ritual, becoming crazed and brittle. But three weeks ago, Fa trudged inside. The entire tribe lifted their voices in song, praying that the cycle had begun again. Fa has not emerged. What has our machines built to kill? Are machines being made inside? Like in a cauldron? Sounds like it. But the way these land gods come and go, it's not like anything I've seen before. Ray and other machines like her, you call them gods? Land gods, yes. For generations, they provided for us, seeding and harvesting the fields of Plainsong. Food for all, a miracle of endless bounty. A farm run by machines. More than a farm, a blessed land, providing sustenance for my people until the derangement. 
So what happened to the land gods after the derangement? They faltered year by year. And once they were peaceful, now they turn on us when we approach, even attack us. They'd always enrich the soil, but for several seasons they've glutted it endlessly with mulch. The fields have turned fetid. A blight that keeps spreading, even beyond our lands. We used to have food for all. Now we... We barely have enough to feed our children. Must be... Over fertilization. Spread by spores, maybe? I don't know. That's not even the end of it. Each land god used to visit the sacred cave once a year, but no longer. Without the rituals of renewal, they'd fallen apart. Like Ray. They're dying. And my tribe with them. You said the tribe has trouble with its fields and settlements. Yes. Whereas once the land gods harvested endless bounty from the fields, now they sow a poisonous blight. War brews among the Tanakh, so their rebels prowl our outskirts. And the machines grow ever more aggressive, hemming us in, forcing us to desert distant villages. Now they're even coming out of our sacred cave. Many in the tribe fear our days are dwindling. I wish I could tell you it was better everywhere else. Not that we're gonna lose hope. Thanks for taking us in. Varl's the one that carried you across the wilds. I doubt anyone else here would have let us in. Or stayed by my side to make sure Aloy was comfortable. We were lucky to find you. I could say the same thing. Sounds like you two have been spending a lot of time together. I wish it hadn't taken an injury to make that happen. I hope you feel better. And soon. That sound like jealousy? I need to get into that cave. <laughs> it sounds like what? a little bit of jealousy. No one does that. Well, it's time to make an exception. It belongs to the land gods. Look, so... There is something inside there. Something that could solve problems all over the world. The storms, the derangement... <laughs> Maybe even your broken land gods. What could possibly do all that? A spirit? Yeah. Something like that. I could journey back to Plainsong. Assemble the chorus. Tell how you soothed Ray. Ask their permission to go inside. Great. I'll get my things. <laughs> yeah, after she needs healed. Rest. You don't have to tell me. Okay, I'm fine. Assembling the chorus will take time. Heal first, then join me. Fine. Bed rest. I got it. She does not need you to help her heal. You could... Come with me to plain song. Lend your voice to mine as I try to persuade the chorus. It might help her cause. I'd like to. But I'm afraid she might run off. Really? Very well. Later then. So, wait. It's not uh. Uh, that I don't want to go with you. It's just that I... Shh. <laughs> Ooh. Is that okay. what you were trying to say? Um. Hey, my man. Yes? My man. <laughs> then I look forward to more conversation. 
Woo! Uh, Look at my boy Varl. Yeah. Me too. Varl staring at that ass. You're supposed to be resting. Varl. You should go with her. I'll get better on my own. You trying to get rid of me so you can... <sighs> no. Not this time. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'll meet up with you in Plant Saloon when I'm ready. You sure about this? Yes. Go. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. So, wait. Who are they? Yeah, good night's sleep, and I'm all fully okay. healed up. Fully well, healed up. First that Karja Huntress, now this Outlander. The dangers of the hunt require quality gear. Docile. Part of its programming, maybe? Another outlander strutting around like she owns this land. My wares will help you on your hunt. You're on your I need to meet Varl and Zoe in Plan Song. Ask the chorus if we can go into their sacred cave. Minerva should be inside. If I can get it, I can reboot Gaia. And then maybe we can figure out who those strangers in the Proving Lab were. But first, I might want to explore a little. See what I can find in this area. guys and girls it is bedtime so i will see you in the next one for part four part four take care it will go on don't let the